Hello brothers and sisters, may you all be blessed. I wrote this a while ago, around that time after I started to try to journal, again here on the mountain. One day I came to the Lord straight on point. So let's go straight on point. Dear Lord, I want to come by thanking you for the help, the blessings, and the love you pour out on us on a daily basis and for being so forgiving at each fall, no matter how small it might be. You know how I make a big deal out of my littlest judgments and faults. And yes, I tend to get scrupulous and go to the very end of a tiny mistake or repetitive mistakes that I make. Lord, I came to journal, not really knowing what you will say, but I come out of obedience to Mother Elisha's word you gave us. So here I am. What is on your heart, Jesus? You are on my heart, beloved, and I love you so. You think now how often I seem to bring this up to you, repeating myself. Uh, I was a bit incredulous that it was Jesus speaking, because this of him loving me seems to be so repetitive. <laughs> A lot. It made me think that this is my mind. Jesus said, but you know, you need it. You need to hear and accept it. You deny and reject yourself too much. Am I blocked or something, Lord? He went to say, I have made you beautifully in my own image, with my own traits and characteristics. A beautiful masterpiece at its conception. So you see, even in your broken state, as of now, you are still adorned with my love and traits. You fear my loving gaze because of the scars inflicted on you. Either you are constant trying to please me, but finding out you can't do it as you have longed on your own, or either the traits and sufferings you went through as a child. He said gently, I knew you and what you would be doing before even stepping on this earth. There is really no need to feel ashamed, scared and fretful with me. I do truly understand their substance. So please, allow me to go deeper into your being and bring the so needed and desired healing and the joy and consolation of my divinity overpowering you. I thought then, how exactly to do that, really? And he said, the way you would do that is just by being yourself with me. Don't fear me to the point of being terrorized in my presence over the littlest fault you just perceived. I'm not there to slap you in the face. I am there to be a merciful husband, partner, and friend, and God, who wants to make you whole, pick you up, Dust you off and try again and again and again with your eyes on me and on my heart for you. Try to switch your focus on me and my mercy every time you find yourself with a fault. Look to me and see my gaze of love over you, having compassion on you. I bless you, I see you, I know you try and did try before. But count on me to accomplish and restore all things broken and crushed. Be with me in this. Then I kind of went saying, You know, Jesus, I don't really know how to live this walk with you. I just do try too much on my own effort. And I fear disappointing you or hurting you with my sins, which I know I somehow offend you. I'm sorry. I embrace you even in your misery, child. You do not realize the extent of my affection for you. I am for you when you are so against yourself. I thought, hmm, seems I need to just release and let go of the ideas of how I should be and behave in your presence. Like, exaggeratedly, I have a lot of learning to do about you, Lord. Yes, you do, he chuckled. I truly do love you. He points his finger toward me in a funny gesture, adding, Don't doubt me. <laughs> okay, I'll try. 
I said. Thank you, he replied. Go now, my child. Daddy is with you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Then right after, I saw the clock that is read 1, 1, 1 p.m., which is Daddy God's nudge. And feeling a soft tugging, as if wanted to hear more and linger, seems like he and I just continued to just chat a little bit further. I picked up on this word right after. Come to me like this often, he said, meaning willing to listen more. He continued, it's such a comfort to finally have you here willing to just type down and listen, really. It brings me much delight. Truly and truly I say to you, fountains of mercy and delight pour out to those who just sit and listen. I then remembered Mary, the sister of Martha, who would just sit at his feet and just listen to him. Jesus said, yes, like that, with big, wide eyes of a child in wonder at each word spoken. Jesus freely and cheerfully mimics the wide with his arms. I said, that's so sweet. Indeed it is. That's heavenly honey for me. He smiles wildly and cheered up. Blessings pour out of my heart for you. Just please do receive them. I will help you cooperate with me. Then he went to add confidently and smiley, You know I am able to do it. I didn't remember all those events where he did show himself able to help me cooperate with his moves of the spirit. But while he was saying that, I thought within myself in a few seconds, wondering, You have blessed me so much by far, Lord. And you still want to bless me more? I laughed inwardly. He affirms in great cheer, yes, much more. And that was the end of our short chat afterwards. Remain with the Lord, dear ones, for much more is in store for you.